as your king, I will not let the people of Garindale down. My father had his failures, but we did have a mutual understanding. Peace, harmony, and love can win both nations and both kingdoms together, but not apart. We cannot tear the wonders and the kindness of the people of Gaindale. Yet, my troops, my soldiers, might serve as well as a community, but through the depths of the valleys and the villages, we have a crucial meaning. No rational desire, but I'm willing to take the risk. The worries of our trust precede us. I know my father might not have exceeded his participation, his dreams, his goals. But furthermore, near this new age of heroes, new allies, new friendships, and might, I might say, new unions on the table. We are finally feasting together as both Gowendale, Oppenheim, Drugnot, Fearful, and Prejudice. We know both our kingdoms were slaughtered and slindered by a new enemy, a powerful one. That is why, as a genius smart king who plays his part, must know that every enemy is your ally. And if you work together, if you continue that job, once said, you can overcome anything you encounter. Gowendale has faced hardships. Every kingdom has faced hardship. Difficulty. Landing its men to the graveyards in Lowenkar and in Lancaster. But believe me, heed my word. There will be no exposure for failure. Nothing of the sort. We will have sufficient men on the ground. Sufficient troops. Our knights are ready to fight because they are strong wielded. They are wise, calm, cunning. The honours of the knights is altruism, respect, kindness, bravery, justice, law abiding, honour, compassion, passion, and more and more remorse, mercy, Our enemy does not show no mercy on us. But I feel obligated to oblige to the knight's rules. We are fighting for a new given chance. We've heeded their warnings. 
We've blinded, let the enemy fool us. Like we were dogs to the slaughter, wolves to the sheep's clothing. And might I not forget the undeniable murders and slaughters and moraders that came into our castle, into the palace. As your king, I will expectantly not let you down. I will lay my hand for you. I will help the people of Gallandale in both kingdoms with a plan, an idea, a vision that will both help us grow this country. That will both keep the evil at bay. As your king, we will stay and stay united. As your king, I shall not let you cry, suffer at the hands of our enemy. We will avenge you. We will give you justice, but not guilt, but serve the innocents. My conscience is clear. And as your king, I will not let the people of Gallandale die in vain. I shall not. Thou thy e. But this is but a new feebled mind, affordable to form new alliances at our command. But with all due respect, we are not followers here. We work as a team because only friendship, love, humanity brings us together. It will not lay us in the dust. It is our conquest. Our mission, the goal we chase to achieve, we will keep on marching and walking, not running past down our fear to the tears of the bloods of war. We are warriors fighting a spirit fighting for the souls and sorrows that were lost in the kingdom. We shall lay a fortress, a plan to win, to lay us to victory. Our victor and our valour as soldiers has recommended us to the battle. We have been wounded battered, slayed, hunted, you name it. But the blood of our people and all the others and the innocents shall not be forgotten. And those who fought for us, their spirits are here with us. Indeed they are. So as your king, I am not like my father, but I am going to save all of you, no matter what the cost, no matter if you get a next new king or queen. I will be right here, righteous, selflessness. Serving each and one of you through this moment. Young, old, our children's children, grandfathers, 
Parents, it is this day and age. We are the millennials who did a lot of ultimate sacrifice for those dreams to come true.